Wow, look at this. I'm digging that photography class. It really shows the interplay of the light, the dark object, and the subject. Man, this stuff is magic. It's iPhone, Adam. Yeah, I know, but look, you can make anything beautiful if you just try. Anything? Yeah. What about Eric? Uh, except Eric. <laughs> Hardy har har. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, big boy, what's going on? Wow, what's with the bear? Dude, are you telling me you don't know who that is? Why, well, you wouldn't recognize him with his head off, but that is Jay Diddy. He's the guy that's always dancing on Portis and Maine. He's the guy doing the steps, because he looks like a ranch hood painting mixed with James Brown slapping his ass, spinning a sign for the tax company. He's famous. Oh, I know who you are. Yeah, you're awesome, and sometimes you wear that reindeer outfit, too. Yeah. Hey, dude, is he, is he messing with me? Are you pulling my leg? Oh, he's not I mean, lazy. I, he's a yogi. He doesn't know about the reindeer conflict. That guy is ripping up all my greatest stuff, man. All my trademark moves. That guy's out of his mind, dude. He, he stole the, the back slap. He stole riding the pony. He's stealing all of it, man. That's it, Jimmy. You and me are going to go downtown. We're going to catch this f***er. We're going to tie him up. We're going to drag him into an alley. And we're going to break his legs. Then we're going to pull his toenails out. Then we're going to rip his arms out of their sockets and beat the f out of him with him. Then we're going to break his antlers off and shove him up his f ass. Let's f it Can't do it. You ever heard of three strikes? Well, I got two strikes, man. One more conviction, I'm going to be tossing salads up in Stony Mountain Pen. And that guy knows it, man. That guy knows it, and he taunts me. Every single time he sees me, he taunts me, he tries to get in my head, he's stealing my moves, and I can't do anything about it. Wow, you're angry. That's beautiful. Can I take a picture of you? Oh, that's so good. Try one with the hat, yeah. and welcome to Arbor Live. Tonight we have my favorite Native American rock band, Bottom, Brothers of Different Mothers, featuring the very sexy Jesse Green on guitar. We also have my favorite crooner of all times, Mr. Ray St. Germain, along with those big country boys, the Douse Brothers and Donovan Woods. So turn it up, stick around, we'll see you in a minute.
dances on Reminds him of a place where he belongs An eagle cries for the buffalo Check this out. Best photo yet while sitting on the can. Just Twittered it. Ugh. I can see your ass. What? No, you can't. That's my arm in the mirror. Oh. Why? Well, I can't really tell that's my ass. Why? Because it looks like a flat Ojibwe pancake? Look who's talking, Mr. Sasquatch. Yo, what's up, boys? Well, Eric, what are you doing wearing the bear outfit? What's going on? I'm taking Eric down. I'm going to teach him about my signature move. And we're going to put the hammer down on Reindeer Boy. That's what's going to happen. Wow. Hey, yeah, this is me. No, no training. No professionalism. Really? Hey, OK. Cool. Wow. What's up? <sighs> wow, that was Philippe Ferrand from the City Arts Council. Said I'm a photographic genius. So it's brothers of different mothers, right? That's right. Yes. You guys got the same mom. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. I guess we just <laughs> we think. We oh, think. we think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're not oh, sure. Man, That's so how we, it goes back home. You let's know? weave this web. I like this now. <laughs> but I was thinking when I was watching you guys play last night. I was like, maybe you guys don't have the same mom. I go, I, I thought I about know. that, right? I don't know. But then you guys look pretty much alike. But you look like your dad too. Yeah. 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 So it's like uh, your dad's obviously like a sexy mother. The bad he cuss on my show. He's a, and he's a bad <laughs> drummer too, right? Oh, he's a, oh, he's he's the timekeeper. So when you time. guys were kids, did he like sit down and go, your baby seat, you're like on your bottle and goes, this one, kids, is called Led Zeppelin here. I see. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He did that. The thing there. was the Beatles yeah. first. I told your dad this, but you know, he when I first met your brother, he introduced himself to me as Tommy Cree. Right. So that's I didn't right. even know your name was Mike. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my name's Tommy Cree. I like, <laughs> oh, really thought it was Tommy Cree. That's funny. I go because I, I told Tommy Lee. I emailed that's Tommy. Right. He's a drummer, an Indian drummer, called Tommy Cree. Tommy Cree. <laughs> he thought, wow, that's really awesome. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I forget because that's when you when I first met you, I thought that was his real name. That was so correct. That's right. Yeah. 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 Tommy yeah. Cree. That's. Tommy are you Cree, even? Are I'm you, not even Cree. Are, and you're not even Cree. Yeah, I know. Awesome. You, are, are Nothing against the key people. Are you guys yeah. a Jibway? Yeah, yeah, we're Jibway. I should have known. I should have known. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are no. good at Jibway boys. That's, that's, that's right. That's right. So now, this band, it's, I really, really like this band. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, thank you. And the songs are good. And you know what? And no, no bullshit aside, I was, I was watching. I was, was I sitting with Derek Miller last night or somebody? We were watching. And it was like, you know what is great? 
is that your singer is so great. I mean, you are a fantastic singer. <laughs> Where have you been? I asked all the guys, how come uh, this guy's, I've never heard of this guy. Where I, I never saw him before. He's this guy is, because you're so amazing, right? And, uh, and then Garrett uh, says, well, I had a band with him in high school. And I'm like, how could you let this guy go? Right? Yes. It's like, where wow. have you been all these years now? Uh, what did you just surface right now? Love, family. You, did you move away for a while? Yeah, or? I did for a while, yeah. Where were you living? Was in, I lived in Vancouver for a bit and just started a family out there. And Then you said, oh, you, so you got a little like, sidetracked with the family. That'll yeah, happen. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I gotta tell you a story. I was hanging out in Norway, Manitoba, and I went into this real hellhole of a bar, and um, I ran into these two big boys there, and, and they were kind of talking a little bit of trash. So, so I took Clayton here, and I picked, him, picked his big ass up, and I threw him against the wall. I didn't know he had his brother Ryan there, right? So I started working on Clayton, but then Clayton got a little on me. The next thing, Ryan pinned me down, and then Clayton got up and was getting ready to knock the out of me. That's how we roll, man. And I, and I said, hey, you two big boys, could I maybe fix this situation? What if I put your band on my TV show, Arbor Live? Would that stop you from killing me right now? And they said, that seems like a good idea. Because I knew Orion here was a big fiddle champion, right? So what started off as a big, tough fight in the bar ends up as a wonderful friendship. And now who are you on the set of Arbor Live? How are you boys doing? Great, man. Very good. Thanks for not knocking me out. Oh, no sweat. You know, I like tangling with the big boys sometimes, but. The pressure was all mine. <laughs> So 
So now, uh, what have you guys been doing? You're making a new album now? We're working on a new album. We released uh, two singles. Um, we shot earlier today, Music Man and Closer to Home, and uh, a couple of songs that I'm pretty proud of. Awesome, awesome. Now, it seems like um, in certain parts of Canada, this the country scene is becoming like really massive, right? And maybe you guys should like, Canada could take over from Nashville. You got Shane Yellowbird and all these guys that are really fantastic. They're not just like a imitation country. As a matter of fact, in a lot of ways, I like it better because in the Nashville country sounds like, like bad 80s rock heavy metal to me. Um, but the country up here is more like uh, the kind of country I like. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely uh, progressing. It's more upbeat. I, 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 like, I'm into it. Yeah. Shane's, uh, Crystal's, I mean, they're all paving the way for the little guys like us. You big boys, big little guys? That's right. Come in now! Come in now! All right, Eric, man. It really comes down to like a few moves we got. You're gonna come in like this, we gotta be really animated, and we're gonna pop it up. It's called the gorilla. We're gonna keep going like this, right? The gorilla moves right into the next one. Ready? Gonna swing it around and then just get the ass lap. It turns into a horse. Just ride that like a horse. Oh, come on, ride that. Come on, man. You're an Indian. You should know how to ride a horse. I'm a fing Eskimo, you d off. Maybe we could rent this house, put a fan on the windowsill Cause I don't wanna hear that whippoorwill And maybe this is our sentence for all the time we killed Cause I don't wanna hear that whippoorwill I'm gonna lose you, either way I'm gonna lose you Either way if I hold on so tightly or I let go Say my name, it almost sounds absurd. Like, I don't want to hear that mocking bird. Like, you don't whisper it sweet, you say it like a curse word. I don't want to hear that mocking bird. I'm gonna lose you either way. I'm gonna lose you either way if I hold on so tightly. be a number in a corresponding house and baby when the door is closed the windows let it out and she comes by begging for that one sweet lonely sin well the door it opens out so you can't kick it in and a father sweet old man he is comes by to lend a hand like darling i told you all along i only partly understand and she comes by begging for the lonely sin again saying Rather be a liar than an honest, lonely man. I'm gonna lose you either way. I'm gonna lose you either way if I hold on so tightly or I let go. Donovan Woods. Your father named you after Donovan, the, the hippie singer? That's right, yeah, I got a hippie dad, too. Yeah, I had a hippie stepdad. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and 
But you, was he into Donovan when he sang on Alice Cooper Billion Dollar Babies? Because he got a little outside there. Yeah, yeah, he did. He was into that too. He's an Alice Cooper fan because of that. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He accepted that because Donovan accepted it. He's a huge Donovan fan, which is huge. weird because Donovan was not like. He wasn't wildly popular, really. Like, you know, you read a lot about Donovan, but yeah. I always say to myself, "Come on, Mellow Yellow, and yeah, what's yeah. you know?" I mean, yeah. I didn't think he was all that, no, but he was, no. seemed to be in the mix, right? Yeah, he was like they, you know, he was on the the cusp of Bob Dylan, so he said that he was the sort of United Kingdom Bob Dylan, and he didn't really, he, he wasn't, Nothing he wasn't like that, he wasn't that. even close, right? <laughs> I want to know this. It's always you big guys. You're a big guy. Yeah, thank you. You're big. You look like you could tear the arms off somebody, but you sing I, with this. You're like Aaron Neville or something. You have this high, beautiful voice. Yeah. You're very like Paul Simon or something. Yeah, Why is it yeah. all you big oh, guys you. that are, look like you could kill somebody well, we, have the sweetest, sensitive voices? Because all our lives we've been taken as brutes, and we want to we wanna counteract that and, and welcome people and allow people to feel comfortable, you know? Did you, when you were growing up, would you go up to girls all scary and then you go, I think I love you. Yeah, that's the reason I started playing the guitar was because I thought it would help me get girls. And I wasn't good at sports. That's the old excuse, yeah. right? That's what and everyone says. People would always see me and go like, hey, you must be a football player. But I, and I was doing community theater and, and stuff, you know, like I was not. I was no not tights a, though, right? No, I, no. Well. This is all very good, but Adam, there is no personality. Where's Adam Blanche? Adam oh. Blanche. Yes. What do I do? You need to be in the photo. You need to be part of the photo. Okay. Now move. Yes, good. More of Adam. Adam Blanche. Less of you. Less of her. More of you. Yes, this is very good. Magnifique, amazing. Oh, you are like an animal. You are making art. Amazing! Wow, amazing! I love it! Remove your clothes, all of your clothes. I am French, I don't care. Yes, Adam, you are an animal. Act like one. Weep, yes, weep yourself. Yes, I like that. Yes, leave a mark. Oh my god. Oh, putain. Adam, you are a star. Play the guitar, yes. Okay, yes, turn around and like that. Works as a telephone. Savage, you are savage. I love it. Yes, the oil is great. Oh, it's like a waterfall of a man. I love it. Don't move, don't move. I am coming. Hold on. Yes, you're a rock star. Yes. No, 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 not that. Karate kicks. Oh, yes, karate. I love karate. I met a girl down in old Mexico. I'll never forget her name though long ago Conchita Kowalski, how did you get that name? Was your father from Poplar Field up in Canada way? Ay, 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 chikai, chikai Chikai, chikai. Ay, 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 chikai, chikai. Ay, 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 chikai, chikai. Conchita Kowalski, she makes the pierogies too hot. You can't make pierogies in a chili pot. I play accordion, she plays the tambourine. Old Conchita Kowalski, I'll never forget her name. Ay, 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 chikai, chikai. Chikai, chikai. Ay, 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 
чекай, чекай. Ай-яй-яй-яй, чекай, чекай. Conchita Kowalski, she does it like the foxtrot. But that's what I did when she fed me her chili pot. Well, she likes to polka, but in a flamenco way. Oh, Conchita Kowalski, I'll never forget her name. Чекай, чекай. Ай, 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 чекай, чекай. Now, I want to talk just a little bit, like, to me, I always come here, I was, you know, when I go down to the radio station and do some right. promos, and there's all, you're like, for those of you who don't know or don't, haven't been to Winnipeg, you walk into this radio station, there's all those, your old uh, vinyl records, yes. pictures of you when you were, were you like a, were you like a, the, the Winnipeg Elvis Presley, I mean? Well, that, that's how I started out singing in my early teens, you know, I mean, in the 50s. Yeah. And wanted to imitate Elvis Presley, and because uh, I saw the reaction of all the girls and all that. Kind of, kind of when you do that, say, "Hey, that's what I want to do." That's what I did, and I teamed up with uh, the legendary Lenny Bro, and his parents. You know, with, uh, joined their road show. And uh, we, we just played a lot of that stuff together, the Elvis Presley stuff. And I even wrote an old song called She's a Square, which is a rockabilly. That's the tune. one I'm always, you finally got me a copy of it. I'm always like, come on. It's like, well, I, I would love to one of these days have you get the old guys together and get a, get the old rockabilly band and, and play well, one of those tunes. Well, I'd like to get them all together, but I think I'm the only one left. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ray St. Germain. You're a legend, and thank you for coming down and seeing us. Thank you very much, Stevie. My pleasure. All right. Ray St. Germain.
time I can hear a singer that sounds like, you, you sound like the Indian Chris Cornell. Right? Wow, thank you. A lot, you know, a lot, awesome. people, yeah, a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people do No, there's a couple times you hit some notes that's like, <laughs> holy man. Dude. I mean, that is like, did you, did you listen to a lot of Soundgarden in those bands? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. I yeah. Grew up on you those. got me into that. Yeah. 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 You know, I was back in the hair bands with uh, Motley Crue and stuff there. Yeah, like, and then you got into the, Yeah, then you got me into the Soundgarden. I was like, whoa. So do you... Do you think that in the future you're going to start, like you're not going to take nine years to make the next record, right? No, 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 no. We, we're no. starting like yesterday. Perfect. We got, yeah. we got like a couple of new songs that are just kind of in pre-production for, yeah. you know, to get to get on full rehearsal with the rest of the... Yeah. We're trying to get it done for at least like the, the summer of this year. Like we actually got a deadline. We want to like you're gonna focus make yourself. on... Yeah, we're going to make, you know, commit ourselves to, to getting an album out sooner. How, well, how um, busy are you with Buffy St. Marie that we'd be able to pull that off? She's pretty, she tours uh, a lot. Yeah, yeah she, you know, it's surprisingly, she does do a lot of touring. We got a, a month off now. So uh, we're actually just going to work on promote uh, This album that we have, oh, The Speakers of Tomorrow, um, it, we're just... Um, we're just trying to get talk about touring with this this album. Sure. But as well as we're, we're working on a new album with the new guys, uh, Leroy Constant, Jesse Green. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we want to get them involved as the whole brothers of different. So it sounds like a band. It's a yeah, band. yeah exactly. and we want to come. Yeah, we commit and sound like a band. Yeah. <laughs> So now I've seen your I've seen your band play. I've been here for for four or five yeah, days. Yeah, thank you, you for coming out and seeing yeah. us. I've yeah. seen your band play like six hundred times. I mean, how <laughs> many t gigs can you keep doing? How long can you keep singing like that night after night? Oh man, I don't know. It's it's, uh, it's been a it's challenge. It's a natural thing. So and last it's night the, it's the energy from the people. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the rest of the guys in the band. Yeah, yeah. last night's show was was incredible. Yeah, we talked about that. That was really good. It was a great good, show. Good energy awesome. going. Thank I you. think there's a lot of people who are just like you probably got a lot of new fans. Last yeah. Night. yeah, that's good. That's good. And you're gonna start? Are you gonna start touring all over Indian country, or just everywhere? Oh, everywhere, yeah. But definitely want to hit Indian country. Yeah. You, mean, you guys are one of the few bands that your 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 message. There's an indigenous message in your music that's so subtle, but it's it's there if you really listen. And to me, that's the that's best right. way to do it. You know, yeah. I can't stand people that clobber it over your head. It's just so yeah, boring. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, you gotta kind of go right. You know, turn the lights off, crank it up. You gotta, you I think that's the best way to write. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I get to see you guys playing year after year after year, and I, I, I you're like one of my new favorite bands. Oh, oh man, thank and you very much. So dude. good, yeah. and uh, I'd love to go see you go on tour with Motley Crue or go on tour with the Chili Peppers or somebody. Wow. Or somebody, Stevie Salas. Or Stevie Salas. <laughs> I don't tour anymore. I'm no. too old. No, I did we'll two get, gigs we'll get, last yeah. year. I'm we'll, doing I'm doing seven days in Europe in December, and I did two festivals this summer. That was it. You need an opening a, act. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I do, I'm not gonna let you guys blow me off the stage. No way. You guys are too good. I need a crap band open for me. Well, thank you very much, Steve. Yeah, man. All right. Awesome. Brothers, brothers of different mothers. You got it. Fantastic. Thank you. Awesome. Come in now. If 
follow it through to its logical end. It's gonna be your stupid European boyfriend. Come on, follow it through to its logical end. It's gonna be your stupid European boyfriend. Come on, follow it through to its logical end. It's gonna be your stupid European. You know, you have this incredible voice, and you're in, and you hear a lot of folk guys. And uh, you, I, it's fair to call you a folk guy, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And sensitive singer songwriter, but it's a, it's a lot more pop than just straight folk. Yeah, yeah. I try to make it poppy. <laughs> Tell me this now. So touring for the rest of the year. Uh, touring in the in the spring coming up, going all across out, out west. And, you uh, and the guitar. Me and the guitar. Yeah. Are yeah. you gonna do the classic folk thing and not take a bath just because you think it makes you look like you got more soul? I don't know. I'm 30 and I gotta I gotta I, I don't know about sleeping on couches and not taking. You know how people do that? I knew rich yeah. guys in LA that were rich but would uh, sleeping on the couch. That's the thing in LA. Though, it's like right? a total that, poser. Yeah, bullshit. it's the opposite of New York. Is to prove how rich you are, you never shower, you don't ever dress up. It's like, always the rich ones that don't, and the poor guys are like, can I borrow your shower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> That's what LA is about, right? I uh, know. It's like, a, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if I ever see you on tour, I will always let you use my shower. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Donovan <laughs> Woods, Arbor Live, my man. Thank you. Philippe turned me on to this oil. Camera loves this stuff. Yeah, so do pig wrestlers. What'd you say the name of that photographer was? Philippe, isn't this you? Yeah, that's me. Wow, you got a great shot of my package. What site is this on? That's gaywarriors.com. What? What the f are you doing on that site? It's Stilberg's computer, it's his default setting. Did someone order a pizza? Hi. Hi. Aren't you that guy from, um... No! Um, no! No! I was just gonna say my photography class. It's weird. Now. Do you guys listen to a lot of classic country? Are you guys oh, more oh, yeah, about the totally. new stuff? No, I'm totally about the classic stuff. I mean, I grew up listening to the Merle Haggards. Oh, man. Yeah. George Straits. I mean, I, hate, I know he's a little newer than that, but uh. yeah. But George Straits is still—he's got an old school vibe to him, right? Merle Haggard's the, the cold blooded. You know, all these hip hop guys that think they're all badass. Some of those old school country dudes are bad. What do you say? Know. If you're walking down my country, you're we know you're talking down my country. You're walking down the wrong side of me. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So I should do a little country singing, huh? That's yeah, some real should, working man music, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> Do you guys ever see yourself on stage, like the like in old movies, and you play a couple songs, and you put the guitar down, and you walk over to someone, and pow, knock them out, just like some old school. Uh, it's, it's the hat. I, I, I feel like that. I mean, when I take the, the take the hat off, I mean to. Do you gonna get all gentle band? You yeah, take I'm the hat all off. I'm a big burly bear and stuff, but uh, put the hat on, and I'm I'm good to go, man. That's so awesome. That's so yeah. awesome. <laughs> and I'm just the fiddle guy. No one messes with the fiddle guy. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Poke him with my bow. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> now, how long have you been playing? I have been playing for 11 years now. And what do you guys, didn't you guys win some cameras or something like that? 
I won um, Best Fiddle Album at the Camas in 05, I believe. Right, right, right. As well as the Galaxy Rising Star Award. That's so awesome. And our group the following year, our old group, sorry, our former group, Highway 373, we won the Best Rock Album, believe it or not, yeah. in 2006. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Was I nominated that year? Did you guys beat me? Oh. Oh. All right. Well, this is the Dallas Brothers on Arbor Live. <laughs> soul guitar and I sing a melody and that's who I am it's all I know telling you my stories just like my heroes I may never live to know the answers the reasons why I chase this dream my man there's a lot of things I'll never understand But I know I'll always be your music man I'm a music man yeah, Every night up there on the stage I bring the words to life I can't settle down Another one night stand Cause I'm married to the music And that's all I have 